It was the first time 19 finalists stood to the stage in the newly minted amphitheater at the National Botanical Gardens. Vying for increased prize monies, the largest ever payouts in the competition's history, they came to deliver lyrical punches. At the end, it was Ian Iweb Webster who emerged as king with his song Brain. Was it a chemical imbalance or dementia that caused the nonsense? I wonder if the CEO could explain why a ram don't have much. He now has to choose between a $100,000 check or a new vehicle valued $135,000. He dethroned 2022 monarch Kwan, who had to settle for a third behind Adrian Clarks, a Nancy, and a big battle ram. Rounded out the top four was Billboard with Foolishness. The night also saw a mother and son in Donella and Ross competing in the finals. While not earning the crown, they had earlier expressed gratitude at advancing that far. Officials have been speaking about the decision to use a new venue and also sharing their thoughts on the material presented for the competition. We also thought that coming out of COVID, where financially you want to be a bit more prudent than usual and funds are stringent, both from governments and but also from sponsorship, that you would want to maximize a single venue. So you want to consolidate venues. So you don't have Kensington, where do you go? And the National Botanical Gardens has proved itself as a venue like no other. I am very happy with the social commentary. Even the ones that think about me, I, I'm happy with all of it. No, listen, I think we had an absolutely good season. Yeah. Um, I'm really happy in terms of um, what we saw here tonight. I think all of the performers just gave their best shot. I think the crowd enjoyed it as well. Um, and I think that we're seeing a, uh, almost a resurgence. Officials are hoping to host more events at that site in the future. Brian Phillips, CBC News.